Bonjour à tous, Elfric euh, qui vous parle en ce moment même, alors euh, je vais vous présenter un peu la Paris Manga Show pour cette vidéo. Comme vous pouvez le voir maintenant, là, en ce moment, vous pouvez danser avec tout le monde, et ça c'est très important par rapport à... C'est l'atelier Just Dance qui fait ça, venez danser si vous pouvez, c'est super marrant, vous allez voir. Ensuite, il y a aussi des personnes qui sont là pour Star Wars, comme vous pouvez le voir, il y a beaucoup de Star Wars là-bas. Et maintenant, nous avons le droit à notre petit Newt Scamander ou Norbert Dragono pour les Français. Donc il y avait bien sûr des Harry Potter, on ne pas. Ici, vous pouvez devenir un magicien grâce à, à la Nintendo Switch. Donc euh, comme vous pouvez le voir, vous tournez vos baguettes pour les charger. Et quand le déclencheur s'allume, vous pouvez commencer une guerre de, de magie en fait. Donc euh, Expelliarmus, Sectus, Ravana Kedavra, les tours que vous voulez. Amusez-vous, vous êtes là pour ça, vous devez euh, désarmer l'adversaire. Et si vous êtes un mange mort, tuez-le, même si vous voulez, c'est faites ce que vous voulez. Là, comme vous pouvez le voir, d'autres personnes viennent sur scène pour mettre l'ambiance. Nous avons le droit aux Power Rangers, avec la petite musique qui est, d'après moi, très très importante et qui était de très bonne augure, car elle a pu ramener plein de gens. Mais... On a pu tous s'amuser tous ensemble, c'était très très intéressant et très marrant surtout. Donc ouais, si, si vous avez l'occasion, allez-y. Hein. Et si vous voulez des Polangers, passez-leur le bonjour, ils sont super cool souvent. Et maintenant la petite mise en scène de des animaux fantastiques. Les animaux fantastiques ont gagné le prix de la meilleure mise en scène grâce à leur super prestation que vous venez de voir. Et là, nous pouvons voir euh, une grande partie des cosplayers qui ont participé. Les trois à gauche, ce sont les membres du jury. Et nous avons aussi droit à quelques décorations à Harry Potter avec notre fameux Voldemort. Et maintenant, voici l'intérieur. So Yeah, I'll take a 
should do it. You should do it. You should do it. I will do it. Uh, they want to know to uh, with uh, who were your friend and uh, should send your friends again. Um, me and me, Tom, and Jamie, we we were, we were quite we were quite close. Um, you know, we kind of worked we kind of worked out a little bit like that, especially early off. Uh, in the early films, kind of all, kind of all stayed together in, in a way. Um, so, you know, the Steely Wins with the Steely Wins, the Griffin Girls with the Griffin Girls. It was a little bit like that. But, you know, at the same time, we were all, all friends, but me and Jamie and Tom, we had similar interests, we shared interests, we were like, music and things like that. So. No, I auditioned for Dudley originally. Yeah. And why did you? I don't know. They just uh, an agent in the audition for Dudley. Physically, visually, I matched matched the uh, character breakdown for Dudley. Uh, so then I did put down to like the last two kids for Dudley. Um, and then the producers and the director didn't think either of, either of us were right for that thing. And then said, no, sorry, uh, recast. Uh, and then, so yeah, they said no, and I didn't hear anything for maybe two, two weeks, three weeks. Um, and then they just put me up, so they went, they went back to audition for the week. So, okay, yeah, yeah, I will. Um, Dad said no, because. Because he knew that I was heartbroken, but I didn't get Dudley. So I had like five auditions for Dudley. Um, but I said, no, I have to. I have a question. Is it your problem to push you in the cinema business or is it your problem? No, it's yeah. Because my dad got me into acting when I was like seven. So yeah, he got into acting quite late. And then, Yeah, down to him really. How did you feel when you learned the death of Gregory Gold? I wasn't sure what to make of it really because it was just a crap in the book. Crap in the book. Crap in the book. I was like, that's cool. That was my first death scene. I was like, that's cool. It's a good guy. But uh, were you sad or were you... Yeah. Because uh, you played in Kyrgyz with the uh, death heroes? Yeah. So... Yeah. I wasn't really sad at the character. It was, it was more sad. We all felt sad in the filming. You know, when it was time to finish uh, the last movie. Um, Because even though we did the death scene, I think we still had a little bit more filming to do. Because it's not all in sequence. So I might film the death scene and then we go and do something else from, from before. Uh, so yeah, it wasn't really easy for me. Uh, now it's not about uh, the saga of Harry but why did you choose to start a career in MMA? Well, this is it's like the, 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 the newspapers in my fight that went viral and stuff. It, um, it kind of made out that it was a career change. It is, it's not really a career change, if I'm honest. It's more you know, fighting. My dad was a professional boxer, so I grew up looking at his newspaper clippings and pictures of him boxing. So uh, I've got two older brothers who are both boxers as well. So it was like, I had it in my head for me from a young age that I wanted, I wanted to see what it was like. So then I started doing traditional Japanese Jiu Jitsu. Uh, and then became a fan of MMA, enjoyed watching UFC and stuff. And I thought, well, I do martial arts anyway, so I'll start doing mixed martial arts and then I'll go to the cage and I'll see the time. So it's kind of amateur, but I'll have a couple more times. But it's not career, you know, I'm not really a professional or anything like that. Because, uh, because I'm an actor at first, first I'm an actor, so. It's just going to be a bit of care from the elbows and the knees to the, to the face. Yeah. Amateur is you know, a little bit dangerous, but uh, it's not like professionals. Uh, uh, do you think one day we came in the cinema business and we started cinema and we started to Do you think one day we will uh, come back in the uh, cinema business? <laughs> oh, yeah. We just have a career. Yeah, I mean, 
still acting, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know, but uh, you're acting and you are a professional. Uh, and you do uh, MMA, but uh, one day you do just uh, acting. Uh, I think probably, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I, mean I'm, I still train now, so I'm training to do two things on this. But uh, maybe, yeah. So thank you to Denmark and uh, our friend Linda and uh, have a nice uh, very much. Thanks for having me. Thank you.